Here's a way to quickly move the queen from one box to another without even finding her. This hive was three deeps and we want to make sure that it's just two deeps and then we can have the third one which has some brood in it become a super. So instead of hunting for the queen, I'm just going to take every frame out and shake it into the brood chamber and if she's in here, I might see her or she might just get shaken into the brood chamber. So I've already done three of the frames. I just wanted to show you that shake. I understand the concept that you don't always have to search for your queen to move her down. And I'm putting the frames off to the side, not in here, so that I can then shake the empty box. There might be bees walking on it on the inside. So I'm taking a quick look for her, not much at all. Shake it pretty firmly. And they're not getting mad at all, they just fall straight in. Just found a couple of queen cells here, but they're just dry queen cups. I'm going to get rid of them anyways. There was nothing inside. This area here, I think, used to have a mite strip because it has kind of a rectangular shape right here. And they repaired this area with drone brood and then they threw in a couple of queen cups. So I'm going to just scrape this area out and get it right down and hopefully they'll repair that with worker cells in the future. flying around just normal and not angry when you shake them in. So I'm just going to look in the corners of the box. There's no real reason she would be in the corners of the box, but I always look. And I'll just tap these bees in. Queen excluder. And now this box is going to be the first of a few supers. And when the brood emerges from the cells, they will have empty cells there to put nectar in. That's a quick way to get your queen below a queen excluder without being good at finding a queen. You just have to be able to do that shake 10 times.